As the child's mother films him playing with the mirror, the little boy turns towards her to give her an adorable smile. What the heck? You guys just saw that. What is up guys? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're doing awesome and welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, today we're going to be watching a scary video, a paranormal video uh, from a channel called Slapham. I'm really into the paranormal. I really enjoy watching paranormal videos. So I was thinking about doing another video and it's really late right now. It's 12 uh, p.m. 12 midnight so yeah i was thinking about doing one um guys um before i continue i just want to say that i'm gonna put on hold call of duty games because my streamlab obs uh won't capture my gameplay videos my gameplay recording so i try to you know record i try to look i looked up um videos on how to fix the problem but nothing i try to change cables i try to change parts you know uh press buttons but nothing so yes uh i got annoyed so i said screw it i'm gonna try to do something else like vlogs and continue with my reaction videos another thing i try to do while i was trying to fix the problem um, i wanted to do a reaction because i did i recorded the reaction video i edited i did all the editing i could on on that video uh, and i wanted to do a reaction on lil nas x uh, music video called montero and industry baby but every time i will try to upload it um it will tell me that um i couldn't upload it uh, it wasn't uh, I was gonna be viewed by people I was blocked and all that and I tried to edit it five different times and still nothing so yeah I, I kept editing editing um, putting blurs um, covering the music uh, video um, parts where it was telling me that uh, copyright you know like certain times like you know the minutes uh, I did that five times six times but nothing so I got uh, tired I got uh, frustrated so I'm like screw it I'm not doing no game uh, I'm not doing music videos at the moment so I'm gonna do some other video reactions so I'm gonna continue doing my uh, uh, reaction videos and I'm gonna do some vlog videos if you guys are interested uh, please guys um, let me know like my videos subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell if you guys like my reaction videos also like and subscribe and let me know what videos you guys want me to react to um, I really would appreciate you guys um, tell me what you guys want to see and also guys I'm doing a TikTok video so I'm also doing TikTok videos um, I uploaded one TikTok video to my TikTok TikTok account and uh, I'm gonna do more videos on them hopefully it's gonna be comedy I want it to be comedy so yeah you guys if you guys are interested link in the description so yeah um, enough of me talking guys enough of me taking your guys time so how about we jump into the video because I'm really interested you know I'm watching some uh, paranormal videos that leave people baffled so without any further ado guys let's jump into the video and I hope you guys like and enjoy so let's go how you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slap Tam. Today we're looking at some scary video clips that can't be explained. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content just like this. I like the intro. It's really spooky. It gives the, you know, that... When a security guard watching Bye. the video feeds from his post in Mexico reported for work, he probably wasn't expecting to see any paranormal videos. However, on this particular day, something appeared on the closed circuit cameras that he and his co-workers had a difficult time explaining. On the camera, the guard could see two of his co-workers standing watch outside. He was shocked to notice a mysterious figure standing only a few yards away from them. In the footage, the figure is completely dark. It appears to be made entirely of shadow. Its shape is clearly human. But compared yeah. to the guards we see in the video, it's significantly shorter. It looks like a woman, if you guys. Uh, it looks like a dress. The hair right here. Or could they be playing some prank on the guy? When the guard watching the cameras spots the ghostly apparition, they immediately report it to the co-workers standing nearby. They quickly turn towards the spot to investigate. 
The two men walk right up to the figure and shine their flashlights directly at it. However, they can see nothing. The heck? The guard watching the video is perplexed as the shadow still appears on the monitor. The other two guards continue searching, even appearing to pass through the shadow figure at some points, but they never see or feel anything. I'm kind of afraid of cameras. I'm not scared about watching my recordings because you may never know what's, you know, what you're recording or what your camera has caught, you know? Throughout. And also, um, I feel like um, guards, you know, they, I feel like security guards have a lot of stories to tell if you ask them because, you know, guarding stuff at night. Um, I feel like them and uh, truckers, police, I think they have stories to tell if you guys ask them, you know. At the entire investigation, the apparition never moves. What is this terrifying shadow creature and why is it only visible on the video feed? The guards who experienced it firsthand have no explanations, but many are certain that the men encountered a ghost. Maybe a technical problem? When a guard at the Okinawa Air Force Base in Japan thought they saw something unusual on the CCTV monitor, they had to rewind the video and watch it again to be sure. After a second look, they were certain they had found something that would stand out among other unexplained paranormal videos on the internet. The footage, which was uploaded to YouTube by Jose Cruz, focuses on an intersection just outside the base. It's unclear what time it was when the video was recorded, but the sky is inky black. Just behind a road sign in the bottom left corner of the screen, a dark shadow begins to slowly amass. There's right here. At first, it looks like any ordinary shadow. As it grows darker, it becomes clear oh, yeah, that something more unusual is happening. Suddenly, the dark shadow raises itself from the ground and flies across the road. What the heck? I'm watching these videos late at night. The, the house lights are off. After this video, I'm going to turn off the lights and run to my room like a freaking chicken. Running from a farmer that was about to kill him, you know, make him turn him into chicken dinner. That's how scared I am right now. Well, not scared because um, I have kind of, um, kind of experienced some stuff like this, but I got used to it. And also, I got a story to tell you guys. You guys are interested. I'll leave that for the ending of the video. At the ending of the video, or near the end, for you guys. It hovers for a moment before returning to the center of the street. And the As the shadow crosses the road, the street lights allow the camera to pick up more detail about the apparition's shape. While it's rather amorphous, the overall shape appears to be that of a human. The witnesses had no explanation for the strange events but are convinced that a ghost was to blame. It isn't unusual for small children to be fascinated by mirrors. Guys, I'm sorry for keep on interrupting. I'm always been scared of mirrors because um, I've been watching these videos like these, you know, where you see your own reflection and you see something different than the reflection and uh, I've heard stories that uh, mirrors are uh, uh, like a portal to parallel worlds uh, I'm scared of mirrors and also there's a thing there's a legend not an urban legend like like something like I don't know if it's an urban legend or whatever it's called uh, or it's a myth or whatever that you can't sleep on like with your foot pointing at the mirrors because they say that uh, whatever comes out of the mirror will drag you to the mirror. I'm always been scared of mirrors. Uh, a room in my room back in Alabama, my mom put a mirror there. Okay, I'm 28 and I'm not afraid to say this, but there's some stuff I'm scared of, and I told my mom to take that mirror out of the room because I didn't want it in the room. And toddlers often find it endlessly amusing that the child being reflected back at them copies their movements exactly. 
It isn't until they're older that they realise the child in the mirror is them. In one of the internet's more disturbing paranormal videos, however, the child in question may have been correct in assuming that the image being reflected back was another being entirely. Yeah. The eerie video was uploaded to Twitter by Nasrallah Napi. As the child's mother films him playing with the mirror, the little boy turns towards her to give her an adorable smile. What the heck? Do you guys just saw that? His head move really quick like that. This is why I hate mirrors. Especially at night. It was uploaded to Twitter by Nasralla Napi. As the child's mother films him playing with the mirror, the little boy turns towards her to give her an adorable smile. The heck was that? In a shocking twist, the reflection in the mirror doesn't copy the action. Instead, the reflection continues looking forward. He's like, oh shit. My bad, sorry for the, language, for the bad words. But I mean, he's like, oh crud. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Oh crap, they're seeing me. I'm being filmed. Gonna turn. Even more shockingly, the child's eyes take on a sinister appearance in the mirror, turning a terrifying shade of black. Guys, um, like I said, I've been told that mirrors are portals to another world. Uh, some people say it's parallel, par a parallel world, but I have a feeling it's not a parallel world, it's uh, another portal to somewhere evil. Or that could be our reflection, but something, you know, like an evil spirit, a demon that's in the mirror, you know, trying to copy us, but sometimes they fail, you know. After a few seconds, the reflection suddenly looks like it's being fast forwarded as the child in the mirror rushes to catch up to the movements of the real life little boy. We hear fear in the mother's voice as she calls for the child's father to take him from the room. Clearly, she wants to keep her child as far away from the mirror as possible. This is why I always stay away from mirrors. During the day, I don't mind using the mirror to comb my hair, brush my teeth, but at night, I stay, I stay the hell away from mirrors. What do you think's going on in this video? We often see photos of this sort of phenomenon floating around the internet. Someone looking at the camera while their reflection is caught in a different pose. These sorts of images are often disregarded as Photoshop hoaxes and could be quite easily created with even some basic knowledge of photo manipulation. However, a video of a video, reflection yeah. moving on its own is a different story entirely. Love to like, have you guys seen there is a video about a Japanese little or Japanese or an Asian little girl? Where um, she's looking at the mirror, she turns around just like this little baby, and also like the the girl staring, you know, keeps staring, um, doesn't follow the movement of the little girl. Yeah, creepy stuff. Get your opinions on this one in the comment section below. When Rosalia Lombardo died of pneumonia in 1920 at only two years old, her father was heartbroken. Poor baby. Wanting to preserve her innocent beauty for eternity, he sought out Sicilian embalmer and taxidermist Alfredo Salafia. Don't tell me where this is going. Is he gonna like stuff her like one of these animals? Unlike most mummies, Rosalia's oh body was well preserved and still looks remarkably lifelike, making her a popular tourist attraction at the Capuchin Catacombs. However, many fans of the macabre visit the girl's tomb for a very different reason. In various paranormal videos showing time-lapse photographs of the mummy's face, tourists who have visited the tomb like point out that open. her eyelids sometimes appear to be closed. At other times, they appear to be open, giving tourists a clear view of her perfectly preserved blue eyes. They believe that her spirit still lingers with her earthly remains. Staff at the museum have a different theory. They assert that the mummy's eyelids are always open. The light that comes into the tomb at different angles throughout the day causes an optical illusion that makes her eyes appear to be closed at certain times. In spite of this logical explanation, paranormal tourists still flock to the tomb for a chance to see the allegedly possessed mummy. Let's see a video. 
La Llorona is a popular figure in Latin American folklore. According to... Uh, La Llorona... Um, I have family members that they do believe on La Llorona. Um, uh, my mom says... Uh, not my mom, but some family members um, told me that they heard La Llorona when they were in Mexico. And to be honest, I'm kind of skeptical on this. I don't know. She might be real. She might be not. But my mom has a, like a little story like that too. Uh, right now that we're talking about like these um, La Llorona and all these uh, urban legends. Uh, my mom uh, has seen like little dwar dwarves or elves. It's really weird. I believe in the paranormal, but I kind of don't believe in elves, dwarves, fairies and all that. But I don't know. My mom said that they had pointy ears. They were like little kids jumping screaming playing and all that it might be real it might be not but my mom says that uh she was with someone else at the time and she was the only one that could see the elves but the other person she was with she didn't um she couldn't see them i guess uh you must have something inside of you to be able to see it like a little a gift you know to see something like that i don't think everybody's born with it or i don't know because how come my mom was able to see it and the other person couldn't? To the story, this legendary woman in white was abandoned by her husband. The scorned woman attempts to exact revenge on him by drowning their three children. After her dastardly act, she's immediately stricken by grief and takes her own life. Ever since, she's wandered the earth in search of her children, and any who hear her mournful cries are said to be cursed with bad luck. While the legend is popular, the weeping woman doesn't often appear in paranormal videos. Yet, many believe that La Llorona is the star of this viral clip, uploaded to YouTube by Now You Know. In the video shot in Mexico City, a spot of white gradually materializes in the center of a street. Ooh, she got Suddenly, the car, spot yeah. <laughs> transforms into a woman with long dark hair wearing a white dress. Just as she materializes, a car speeding down the street drives right through her. She never moves. Even after the car drives off, she remains standing in the same spot. If just seeing the weeping woman brings bad luck, this motorist who ran her over might be in for some serious trouble. Wait, so hold on. If you see the weeping woman, La Llorona, you get bad luck? What about... You see them through a video or a camera. Does that count? We have bad luck. What the heck, man? What the heck, slapped ham? Now you gave us bad luck. <laughs> Some football fans live for their favorite teams. If this video is to be believed, one fan may have extended their devotion into oh, yeah, the afterlife as well. In a video recorded at the Notts County Football Club Stadium in Nottingham, England, it appears that a ghostly figure attempted to get a better view of the game by staking out a position on the stadium's roof. In a close-up video, oh, you can wait, see the faint the figure one. of a person walking along the sloped edge of the roof. Yeah, I thought I was the one. I was. I thought I was the one where there's a black figure running um, through the the chairs, the the seats. You guys remember that? Um, let's see if I can put the video where he's running. Yeah, I thought I was talking about this one, but this is a new one. I haven't seen this one. To make the footage even eerier, the apparition's body remains exactly perpendicular to the roof at all times, even when walking down a steep slope. The figure is almost entirely transparent, but its appearance on the stadium roof is yet to be logically explained. Ladies in white are some of the most common ghostly legends. They often have tragic backstories that make their appearances even more frightening. In one of the creepiest paranormal videos shared by YouTube channel The Hidden Underbelly 2.0. Maybe that uh, woman that uh, was in Mexico that she was uh, like not struck but a car passed over uh, passed through her. I don't think that was La Llorona. I think that was like a lady in white like you're saying. Uh, because I think La Llorona would be more of a on the a town, small towns, like the countryside. I don't think she'll ever wander in the city. Or I might be wrong. 
No. A mysterious woman in a white dress gives a couple of security underbelly 2.0. A mysterious woman in a white dress gives a couple of security guards a good reason to be frightened. One of the two security guards working at Galerias La Paz, a shopping mall in Mexico, sets out to do his usual rounds around Mexico the mall late again. one evening. His partner remains behind to keep an eye on the security cameras. The guard notices nothing unusual as he does his rounds, but when he returns to his post, his partner seems concerned. The partner asks if he saw a woman in white in the mall, and the guard replies that he didn't see anyone. When the guard watches the security video, it becomes apparent why his partner was so frightened. Clear as day, a woman in a white dress appears in the footage walking right past the patrolling guard. The image is completely opaque, unlike many paranormal videos showing more transparent ghosts. This is what I always say guys, that security guards, truckers, police, uh, you know, uh, they have stories to tell. They seem paranormal, but I think that if they tell their stories, they might be taken as crazy. But I don't think we should be, you know, seeing them that way because, like I said, if you never experienced it yourself, it's not crazy. It's just that you never experienced it, and these guys have, you know. Uh, I would love to have a security guard job someday, and uh, I would like to, you know. See some stuff like this. I'm into the paranormal. I know. How can you be this paranormal and you're scared like a chicken? I like watching the stories, but, you know. Uh, I don't know. I'll shut up now. While there's no explanation for the woman's image on the security video, the shopping mall where she was spotted has been known for supernatural occurrences in the past. What is the name of the that mall so I can go there and check it out myself. Others have spotted ghostly children in the mall, and the building is suspected to be the site for ritual sacrifices. The hell? Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a terrifying shadow entity caught on camera, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop about all our latest content. Like I said guys, I have my own stories to tell. Hopefully by the end of this video, I'll be able to share it before the end. When Michael Flannery moved into his wife's family home, he was nervous about the stories the rest of the family told. They were certain that the house contained some sort of ghostly presence. People would regularly see and hear things that they couldn't explain. Some of the children in the family were terrified of the house, even refusing to go into certain rooms. Just the same as my story I'm about to tell. The room I was staying in, I had some bad experience there. Flannery decided to set up a hidden camera in hopes of solving the mystery. He wasn't expecting the video shot in his bedroom to be so terrifying. The video clearly depicts what appears to be a large black cloud flying quickly into the room and towards the ceiling behind the camera. The heck, you guys see that right, right there? It flies out again a few seconds later, following the same path. Some viewers have written off the video, believing that the cloud is simply a shadow of something passing over a light bulb. However, Flanner and his family are certain that the video depicts their resident phantom. If you want to see some more creepy clips, then check out that video on the top there. Otherwise, there's a paranormal playlist there you can binge on. Leave us a comment down below which one of these clips you thought was the scariest. Hit that thumbs up button as well because it lets us know you're enjoying the episode. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. Pew! Yes, guys. Um, what I was going to say is that um, I kind of had my own experience before, but I can't... Um, like I don't have proof, but I do I did experience something This was when I moved to Seattle and this was well not when I moved this was like around these February of This year in one month actually like around one month or half a month. I had no light nine sleep paralysis and at the first time, like the first few paralysis, I was getting, you know, I, I was kind of scared. But then at the last, you know, the last 
four, five. I was getting used to it. And uh, it was, I think it was in the middle, kind of like uh, the sixth or seventh paralysis because I was kind of kind of counting, you know. And uh, I was falling asleep. I was watching a video. I was falling asleep. I was really tired. It was like around 12.30. And I turned off my phone, getting ready to sleep. And let me just say this, guys. In the room I was renting, because I was renting with a couple, uh, I had my own room. And in this room, I didn't have nothing like a shelf, you know, like something hanging on the wall, shelves on the wall, or whatever it's called. No bunk beds. It was just a regular bed and a TV. That was it. And uh, when I finished watching the, the, the video on my phone, I turned off the phone. I was starting to fall asleep. Guys, and then out of nowhere, I felt like somebody punched me right here in the freaking forehead right here. Like, I just felt like a punch. So, and freaking woke me up. And I thought I was a dream. I thought I was dreaming. I thought it was a nightmare, something like that. Something like that, you know. And uh, I woke up. I was rubbing my head, like my forehead, because I still felt the pain. I felt it, and um, I was rubbing it. And I looked around me, and there was nothing right there. There was no one right there. And this was at the time I was having the sleep paralysis. And guys, I kind of do believe these videos. Well, I'm not saying uh, I do believe there's some stuff out there. But yeah, I had that weird paralysis. And uh, yeah, and after that happened, when I got punched in the forehead at work, um, I went to the bathroom uh, because um, I was fixing my hair because I had really long hair. And uh, I saw right here uh, like a bruise, like a cut. I don't remember hitting myself at work or anything, hitting my help myself with, on the head with something at work. But I had a bruise right here and I kind of like scraped it to see if it was real or was something and blood was coming out. And it was in the same spot where I got hit. And so yeah guys, I do believe there's paranormal stuff out there. I never, I, I never, I could never record it because you know, it was at that instance. So yeah. I have another uh, story, well kind of as a story, but this was back when we were, when I had just moved to Alabama with my parents, uh, this was back in 2017, and uh, I was really bored, I actually had my own room, I was really bored, and I was watching videos called, you know, like, demons, their names, and what they do, what their names mean, and I'm not gonna lie, uh, that night it was like around 1 a.m. and I was feeling a little bit tired and I was watching these videos alone I think I heard like some knocking but anyways I was watching it I had like a this big desk in the room I had like a desk I had on my brother's laptop right there on that desk. I had a big TV and I had my Xbox. My Xbox controller was kind of like in the middle of the desk. And I had just finished watching that video. I was really sleepy. And guys, I don't know how or how the heck this happened. But the freaking controller, it was in the center of the desk. Just, you know, like fell to the ground like I just heard it fell into the ground I turned on the lights and I saw the controller on the ground and I thought you know it was I thought it was because of the wind but my mom has this thing that's kind of annoying but you know like I understand that she will cover up the windows with aluminum foil so the heat doesn't go inside the room and so and the other windows are shut so how the heck is wind gonna go in, you know, and especially a con Xbox controller is a little bit thick, you know, how's it gonna fall down, you know, the wind, the w even if there was wind, I don't think the wind was strong enough to pull it down, and besides it was in the center, and it would have to, you know, um, it was behind the Xbox in, in, the, in the in front of the TV, so how is the controller gonna fall down to the ground on the floor? I just woke up. I said, "Screw this! I'm getting the heck out of that room." I went to—I know I was like 24, 
24, 23, no, I think 24 at the time. And uh, I just went to my mom's room and I said, Mom, can I stay the night here in your room? And yeah, I know, a big ass baby, you know? And yeah. And I had this nightmare that there was this weird witch floating, no legs, no nothing, wearing a white robe. Hair, she's, hair like, like the girl from the, the ring, you know, oh, her hair down. And she, in, in that nightmare, she was pointing at me. She was telling me with this finger like this. And in that nightmare, I was in the middle of the woods and there was a cabin and there was this weird witch and she was standing right there, floating right there actually. And she was doing this to come over and I'm like me and I'm like, N -n -n, nah, I'm not going over there. And uh, she's like, like getting angry, like, like this, you know, doing fast, like get over here. And I was like, no. So I ignored her. I turned around and tried to get away. But I saw the cabin. I got into have in the cabin, and I thought I was gonna see her. You know, I got in, and in that nightmare, the 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 witch or whatever it was went to the cabin. You know, with strong force, crashing to the through the through the wall, and was choking me, holding me like this, like 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 this. I couldn't breathe, and. Uh, and I, I told her like what she wanted. This it, is nightmare, okay? Um, I told her like like what did she want from me? And she was like, no, what do you want from me? And I'm like, excuse me. She was like, yeah, you actually been trying to contact us. And I'm like, no, I haven't. And I, I no like I was starting to feel like I couldn't breathe. And then she was holding me, and she was like. Yeah, you've been trying to contact us, okay? You're trying to summon us. What do you need? What do you want? And I'm like, nothing. And she told me, next time, in my dream, in my nightmare, next time you ever summon us, uh, uh, probably be the last time uh, you, 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 you wake up, you know? And yeah, guys, I had that nightmare. The freaking controller falling in the ground. There was nothing right there, you know, like wind, you know? And it was on the center, and how the heck did it fall to the ground? I'm dreaming that I was being strangled. And the funny thing about that nightmare was my brother's leg, like the like the like the leg, uh, where by the knees, he was uh, he had his, like his knee in my throat, and I couldn't breathe. So I woke up, I grabbed my brother's leg, and I pushed it like really hard, and he just like woke up. I'm like, what the heck happened? And I'm like, dude, you're trying to kill me or something? Yeah, I couldn't breathe. But yeah. But anyways, guys, yeah, and my brother, um, he didn't know anything about this, and he walked into the room one night, and he stayed the night in my room, and he said that he couldn't sleep that night because he was feeling this weird presence, and uh, he said that he couldn't sleep, he was having nightmares and all that, and he said, I don't know whether to believe him or not, you know, but after experiencing the controller thing falling to the ground, no windows opened, you know, I kind of do believe him. But he says that he saw like a portal in the room opening it. But he says that he didn't see no one or whatever coming out from there. And my brother saw this portal and I didn't believe him. And at the time, my mom had thrown away my my uh, video game posters. You know the game, the like the posters from video games. You know, my mom had thrown those away, and I was kind of like mad at my mom, like why throwing them away? And my mom was like, "Well, your brother was seeing spirits, was seeing stuff like that," and he said that it was something like really, like really, really creepy. So uh, maybe it was your posters, your video games, the games you play, and all that. And I told the mom, "That's ridiculous." And yeah, so my mom had to throw those away because um, I was at work at the time. And by the time I got home, and I'm like, yeah, she threw them away. So I couldn't do nothing about it, you know. And then a, f a week passed, I think. And then my mom says that the pastor at the time, they were really good friends with my mom. And my brother didn't mention anything to the pastor because because my, my brother kind of was skeptical, I think, at the time. So, you know, like whether, you know, they thought it was going to be crazy, you know. So if it, But the pastor went into my room and she also said the same thing my brother was experiencing. Like, she says that she could feel presence. She could feel like a portal. It's like a, there was a portal in my room. And yeah, guys, um, after experiencing that, I'm like, heck no, I'm not watching any more creepy videos at night. 
Guys, um, yeah, I have experienced like paranormal stuff, but not like, you know, like recording, you know. Um, I wish I had the camera or something to record to so have actual proof, but sadly I didn't at the time. And yeah, guys, um, that's the experience I kind of had back then. And yeah, it's kind of creepy. I do believe some of these videos, uh, you know, and yeah, I'm kind of scared right now. Right now, I'm going to turn on my freaking Oh crap, I didn't even get my phone with me. So turn on the lights. Crap. Okay guys. So I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna run like a freaking chicken out of here and run into the room. So yeah guys, um, whatever time today you're watching this video, have a great one and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye. Signing out. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, guys, so I'm gonna put it right now. But, anyways, guys, um, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss out for any new videos. If there are videos you guys want me to check out, react to, just let me know in the comment section. I'll gladly check them out, you know. And I'm sorry, like I said, if I haven't uploaded. Been kind of struggling, not struggling, like you know, but like my like freaking videos on recording and all that. But you know, uh, I'm gonna continue doing more videos, so yeah, guys. Um, whatever time that you're watching this video, have a great one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and bye.